other advance we've had is the understanding that the major resistance mutation is T790M. Uh, we look for it. We have a drug approved. Uh, if you find it, osimertinib. Uh, we I want to ask David to comment on. Um, you know, this is now the first of the third generation drugs uh, out there. Um, we have an ongoing trial, Flora. I think someone alluded to it before. Um, this is a first line trial in EGFR mutation. Is it restricted to exon 19, 20, 21 or just all? Yeah, I, I think it's the sensitizing mutation. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And and uh, comparing. But you don't um, have to have T790. I mean, no, yeah, co yeah co comparing osimertinib to um, or choice or of. Or it was a, I thought it was choice of. I think it's a choice. I think yeah, you can use either one. It's, it's a choice. It's a choice, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, D David, your, your, your thoughts first about osimertinib and then yeah. about flora. I think uh, osimertinib's, you know, been a fantastic drug. Uh, it's it's uh, gratifying to see patients who've done well on drugs like erlotinib for a long time. They lose that benefit, and then they start this, and they say it's even easier than than what right. it was like to be on os osimertinib. Um, Why is Mark, it you, Mark, you don't know this, but I talk about you every time <laughs> I talk to a patient about osimertinib because when I have the discussion about what are we going to do next, Dr. Spiegel. I say, well, we have to test you for T790, but I need to let you know that one of my colleagues in New York, you know, has a spouse, maybe just treat you and see how you do. I don't know if you still practice that way, Mark. Um, yeah. And so, you know, I, I still, uh, I've tried that one time and I got rejected from my registrar on getting it approved. So I do go the route of testing for T790. What, what's been weird for me the last um, few months has been testing urine. I didn't think I'd ever do it. And I had a situation where I tested a woman's blood. I did a biopsy of her tissue and she really wanted the drug. And I, I said, I could check your urine. I've never done this test before. And I came back positive. Really? And she's doing great wow. on osimertinib. And, and it was negative in blood and it was tissue? In yeah. tissue. Yeah. And so I've had people, I've told them that story and they said, why don't you just send urine and blood off at the same time? And I, I think that's overkill, but uh, I've done that on another patient and urine came back positive. I've heard, I don't know if, I don't know if this will be true by the time this airs, but I've heard the company that makes the urine test may not be around much longer, so I'm not sure that test will be uh, We'll send them available. off in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so anyway, I, but that's, uh, so right now I'd love to find it in the blood and use that as my gateway to getting osimertinib. Ross, were you going to say? Well, I was going to say um, one aspect of looking in these other body fluids is the, the, the sheddability of the tumor may not be constant throughout the day. And so I've, I've actually had people whose cancer is progressing and on one time their blood is positive for T790M and not, nothing's got, nothing has changed other than their cancer has probably got worse and then it's negative. Yeah. And so it's not, so the urine, you know, is it more sensitive or was it just, you know, you picked the right time to do it? You collected a lot of it. Yeah. You do because it averages, like, averages your entire day. So D David, you didn't comment on flora. So fluoride, I think, is exciting to imagine. Like, uh, so if that hits, and I, I, that's one, if you ask me to bet on, I'd say is not going to hit. I, I think the bar is too high to cross yeah. for that trial. Well, the question is how high does the bar have to be? Yeah, but, to, 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 but yeah. you know, I'm happy to be wrong on that. I, I do wonder, like, what's next? Like, for your patient who right. gets osimertinib, you know, hopefully the best therapy available. And then I guess it's moving on to chemotherapy after right. that. You know? Well, not necessarily. Those and, people, they, they, they don't along. have T790M, and C790S is not necessarily resistant to our first generation drug. Right. Yeah, and we should recognize that there are other pathways of resistance. So MET, which was, you know, this little small slice of the pie, when you wipe out T790M, you just stretch your pie chart out again, and I think MET amplification as a mechanism of acquired resistance is becoming more commonly seen. After osimertinib? Uh, both often, yeah, I think yeah. often also emergency. Have you, have you used an anti-med strategy in patients I like have. that we, and, we, had, and had benefit with, with cruzotinib? Yeah, well, I actually, uh, had I, I had um, a patient who had progressed on osimertinib. We rebiopsied high-level med amplification and then kind of jerry-rigged the combination with cruzotinib, and uh, he's had a yeah, beautiful response for nine months. Yeah, I had the same, same patient. With, sorry, Pittsburgh, with yeah. cruzotinib and continued OC? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I actually, um, uh, on rebiopsy, mine had a very high met uh, amplification did not have T790M, so I went back to erlotinib plus crizotinib. Okay. Jerry rigged a regimen there. For the, there was some ASCO phase one data. Well, it's, yeah, and to be honest, mine, the T790M was still being suppressed. Yeah. So another clone had come up. Yeah. But rather than sort of play, you know, hey, 
whack-a-mole. Yeah. I just yeah. kept one going yeah. and added yeah. in. Yeah. Well, Mark, you brought up um, C797S. What, what do we know about resistance patterns? Not, after? not, not a lot. Yeah. Um, because, again, you only see it after progression on uh, osimertinib. And actually, the people that got osimertinib second line, they're different beast. They have a sensitizing mutation, they have T790M and they have C797S. Only now are we collecting uh, people that have had OC up front and they don't have T790M. So we're, we're struggling to uh, get, scurrying rather, to get those cases to make some PDXs and start studying them. But David, I, I'm intrigued by your registrar. I think you need a new registrar. <laughs> well, why don't they even ask the insurance company? I have to tell you, I've never had OC turned down. Yeah, I, and I've got it up be, front, be, no, and this, I've got it adjuvantly. No, no, it doesn't stop at the registrar. The registrars go to the insurance company. Yeah, but the but uh, they've been approving it. Yeah, uh, I go to the New same York, insurance. New York is kind of a strange place. No, it's not. It, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it is. You I, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ouch. Ross, uh, Ross. Etna is Etna. Yeah, wherever it is. Or wherever they are. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Ross, t hey, tell have, have any of you been able to get osimertinib without T790? Absolutely. He's shaking I, his I, head. I've I, tried and failed. I, I, I have not. I don't think differently from not. you. Yeah. I've just not been yeah. able to get it. I'd love it if I could. I haven't had it turned down yet. Okay, let me ask Ross. Um, tell us what the average community oncologist should know about liquid biopsies. Well, so, so the great thing is um, they're good at ruling things in, and they're not very good at ruling things out, to put it simply. So if you find something, you can believe it, yeah. act on it. Yeah. But if you don't find something... You can't believe it. So here's the analogy. You're in a darkened room. You can see something <laughs> vaguely on the other wall. If it looks like Abraham Lincoln, it's probably Abraham Lincoln. If you can't see it, you can't say it's not there. <laughs> okay. well, I use the fishing analogy with my What's patients. the fishing oh, analogy? If you catch a fish, that's a fish. If you don't catch it, it doesn't mean there's no fish in there. I like right. that one. That one's yeah. better. That's good. Well, I like that. That's good. I like Copy that. that. Yeah. I like Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, though. Abraham Lincoln. So, so is it is it a it's part of your standard evaluation in, in patients? So I think particularly in, uh, I mean, it was really it really came home to roost in the EGFR mutant T790M. Right. And the reason that's the perfect example is you have a positive control. If you can't find the original activating mutation, you can't really interpret that assay. Right. If you find it, and you know, uh, and then you do or don't see T790M. At least you feel, if you don't see the T790M, you feel a little bit more comfortable because you can see the original EGFR mutation. But you still can't take it to the bank. You're still going to have to do like Dave did, you know, biopsy, do the urine, okay, whatever, yeah. or or wait another three months. Is that? Yeah, enough? I think you can. I think you can recheck it. Yeah. It depends on what's happening with the patient. patient right. If they're crashing and burning, you can't. You do all you can, and sometimes you have to shoot from the hip. Yeah. But have, but Mark shoot from the hip is to start osimertinib. Mine would be to start something different. Yeah. Well, uh, in, with T79M negative? Yeah. No, I'd probably give chemotherapy. If somebody was really sick, yeah. I would give chemotherapy. Well, okay. that's, that's what I was going to say. What's your strategy in the T79M negative patients if, if they need a treatment change? They're, yeah. they're getting sick, you've got to do something. If, if you don't have time to interrogate the tumor for whatever reason, then I would give chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, yeah. That, that is man. Okay. We, we all agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. With Bev. You with said. Bev? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jared. That, you're not agree with that. Yeah. Well, oh, then, there's actually data if for superior indicated. efficacy in the never smoking, particularly the EGFR population with Pem Carbo Bev to further back that up. Well, uh, I mean, the data in IPAS, the re response rate to carbotaxel was Higher. double. Yeah. Double in the. In the um, yeah. But that's not necessarily. No, no, no. I mean, for the Bev question, that the never smokers may particularly. Oh, benefit. the, the Bev. Yeah. Didn't know that.